Hey, how's it going, Gecklings? It's old Gecko back again with a YouTube video. Um, this one is a bit different. As you can see, I'm on a bit of a crappy looking indie game. And today it's we are playing Grinbot's Caterpillar. Now, the reason we're playing it is because I'm going to be doing a walkthrough to show you guys how to complete 13, 14, like 13 through to 18 on the levels. So, for those who may or may not know, uh, for those who already played the game through, you'll know there are some new um, challenges right there now that have come out to give you some game score. For those who don't, that's happened. So, each each achievement that gives you 200 game score each, which is all rare achievements as well. So, you know, that's super rare achievements, so that's really good. So, we'll start with 13. So, pretty self explanatory. Same as everyone else, but what you want to do is so first we'll start with grabbing the things here. Now, in the order that I'm doing it here, it doesn't matter what order you do it, just make sure you grab these first. And then you want to wait on this corner here, wait for the teleporter to um, extend, so then you can bounce yourself over here. And then you climb up this side here, this wall here, there we go, grab that flower. And then this bit is going to be a bit frustrating if you don't know what you're doing. There. So, you want to do that, bounce on each of these bees, there we go. Now, we want to wait here while these, while the um, bees go to the other side. I think that was good. Leave it to about five or six bees to go, and then you come up here, and then boom, level 13 complete. Now this one is a bit more complicated, but when you know what to do, like when you've got the hang of it, you're fine. So, start off to do it, you want to go over here, but you want to be careful not to drop down like that. Um, I do that all the time, so don't worry. There we go. Climb on this side here. No. And you want to drop down here. Don't let the bees um, die, because... They're going to help you get to the flower at the top there. Right, so go back over here. One, two, three. Up you go. Flower. Flower. And there we go. That's level 14 complete. Now, level 15 took me a bloody long time to work out. Because it looks pretty difficult. But I worked out how to do it finally. Um, so, collect that flower first. Bounce on that bee so then it gets rid of it. You want to then come this way. Grab that one. Now leave that flower down there. Leave that flower there. Climb this side here. Bounce. And then go back to the flower that you've left. Because then, boom. That will then open them. So you get, get yourself through them. Boom, boom. Um, down you go. That's level 15 complete. Now this one, again, pretty difficult. So, what you want to do here is you want to bounce on three of these bees. So like that, that, boom. Done. But you want to leave the last one because we're going to use that to get to the to get to the finish. So you want to first of all go this way. Collect that. It makes sense when you know what I'm doing. Right. Pick that one up. Boom. Boom. Bounce. Boom. There we go. That's level 16 complete. Now this is the last level. Pretty difficult this one. When you don't know what you're doing, it's very difficult. It took me several tries. So, what you want to do, you want to slightly... Down. Okay. So you want to do is you want to do this, where you go down a little bit like that, without hurting that bee. Right, so you want to keep all three of those bees alive and collect these flowers. Once you've done those ones there, you then want to go back, like so. Boom, boom, boom. Now, that flower down there, you definitely want to miss that because if you collect it, then all these squares disappear and then you're screwed. You want to grab that. There you go. Then collect it. Because then that will disappear along with the finish line at the top. Collect your last one. 
teleporter. Take this one. And then... There you have it. All the levels complete. Now this one doesn't even have an achievement yet, but that is all the levels. Um, if they do bring out some more um, for the game, then I will be sure to do those walkthroughs as well. But for the time being, I hope that this video has helped. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. Um, I'd absolutely appreciate that. Um, leave in the comments below if this video helped you in any way. It probably didn't because, I mean, hell, who plays indie games like this just for easy game score? But, you know, if you're achievement hunting, then Caterpillar is a good game to play for that. But yeah, I hope this video helped. Stay awesome, have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.